In this episode, we continue exploring the Midwest, mainly around the Missouri River, which in some areas can be considered the beginning of the West. And in fact, this is going to be the farthest west we're going to travel this time around. We're going to make a quick trip to Sioux City and maybe, just maybe, drive into South Dakota just to add another state to our trip. Then Omaha, Nebraska, again, just scratching the surface before we head back east towards Winterset and the bridges of Madison County. Iowa is definitely not what you would expect. Even the endless cornfields are picturesque in their own way. And the closer you get to a major river, the better it gets. We are, in fact, slowly approaching the Missouri River. This road here, by the way, part of the Los Hills National Scenic Byway. Too bad it is a little hazy today. It is summer, so we've got some smoke from forest fires out west. Yeah, you noticed? The GPS doesn't always take you through the best route, but that's okay. Here we are, Onowa, Iowa, and the KOA should be coming up just ahead. Well, yes, we have full hookups. We've been wanting to have full hookups for a while now. And uh, this is our site here. Very nice. Actually, right here in front of the lake. Look at that. By the way, that's cumin, black pepper, oregano, lots of it. And of course, paprika, lots of smoked paprika. And yes, we're making Spanish style garbanzo beans, more like Robert style at this point. Not exactly the most traditional recipe. A little bit of cooking wine, a little bit of tomato sauce. Good morning. It looks ugly out there. Look at that. Yep, it looks like it is going to be an indoor day. Bummer. Well, good, good afternoon, actually. It's been a mostly a working morning here. Beautiful place here, this, uh, this KOA. Uh, across the lake there, it's uh, uh, Lewis and Clark State Park. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, sightseeing. We have about two hours for the whole thing before I have to come back for the for the live stream. But we're gonna try to go all the way to Sioux City, which is like 35 minutes or so. The obelisk is the Sergeant Floyd Monument, honoring Charles Floyd, a member of the Lewis and Clark expedition who died and was buried here as we arrive in Sioux City. I 
wish we had more time to explore, but as I said, we only have about two hours. With work and all that, the day kind of got away from us, so we're just gonna kind of explore aimlessly and stumble upon places like this, the cabin belonging to the city's first white settler. Now let's go into South Dakota, just because we can. And back in Iowa we are. And I had a small camera malfunction earlier, so we're going to do another quick Sioux City drive by and call it a day, because it is Friday and I have to be back for the 6 p.m. Eastern live stream. I often find it fascinating to just drive around the city and see the architectural differences of each area. Not only of the large iconic downtown buildings, but also the residential neighborhoods where people actually live. And there is no question, each part of the country is unique in its own way. Well, time's up for today as we drive along the Missouri River on our way back to the campground. Tomorrow is gonna be an exciting day. Tomorrow we're going back to Omaha, Nebraska. I was there, if you recall, back in 2019 and I really liked it, but Illy has never been there, so really looking forward to that. Morning, very cool morning here in uh, whatever this place is. Uh, we're going to Omaha today, so let's hit the road. Welcome to Nebraska. Oh, thank you. Check out that sculpture across the street. Well, here we are. This is called Pioneer Courage Park. And uh, first uh, uh, national park, 2003. And it has all these sculptures here depicting uh, the pioneers. Well, I'm gonna try and be more eloquent than myself. The monument actually depicts four pioneer families and their covered wagons departing to the west from Omaha. What a fascinating sculpture. Such detail in every action, every facial expression. It is almost like a 3D black and white photograph capturing the motion of the moment frozen in time. Some of the expressions are so lifelike that it's, it's almost creepy. Look at that. Let's see if we can park at the historic Old Market in downtown Omaha, which nowadays is mostly an entertainment district. And the last time I was here, I found a great brewery and the Omaha steaks were pretty good too.
Well, here we are, old market in Omaha, and uh, let's go have some IPAs and some lunch. Let's see if we can go over there. Mm, my ribeye and Illis filet mignon. Mm. That looks amazing. Well, that was a good Omaha steak and good beer. It's a really good beer. Now let's continue exploring. I did use my help, my cell phone, as instructed. It's a fairly attractive city, if I may say so myself. This area is called Midtown Crossing. Lots of condominiums and dining options. If only we were hungry. Next, we're going to see a very unique bridge. It is one of a few pedestrian bridges in the United States that span two different states. And it is part of the Lewis and Clark Visitor Center, managed by the National Park Service. Uh, there was water flowing just a few minutes ago, so I'm not sure if we should do this. That's the bridge, the pedestrian bridge. There it is, pedestrian bridge. And that must be the state line, right there in the middle. Check out that mural. Looks like the Sunshine Skyway. Yeah, this is, of course, the Missouri River. And I think we're almost at the halfway point where we would cross into Iowa, right? And on this side, well, there's a downtown. I think we're technically in Iowa now, but they didn't have a welcome sign. Oh, here we go. I'm in two states at the same time. <laughs> There's a monument to labor at Lewis and Clark Landing. And there it is. That park I found back in 2019, Heartland of America Park at the former Conagra headquarters. Closed due to construction until 2025. Oh yeah, this was a very cool bridge. I didn't know it existed. Ili actually found it. As I mentioned, we visited Omaha back in 2019. And at that time, I vowed to return. And although this was not the multi-day return I was hoping for, I mean, I remember thinking of doing like this whole series about all the great cities of the Midwest. And we explored a little more, but obviously not nearly enough. I mean, what can you do with a couple of hours, right? So I still vow to return one of these days, once again. And why the rush, you ask? Well, we have an appointment in Des Moines for a very special visit to the Iowa State Capitol. Let's go check out that Lewis and Clark State Park across the lake from the campground. Let me tell you, there are some nice lakefront houses here to the left. 
No, maybe not lakefront, lake view rather, but you know what I mean, right? This is the state park campground you can see from our campsite, and I think I'd rather stay here, especially this loop. Hey, check it out, that's our campground across the lake. Yeah, these are the good campsites. Let's stop here real quick before we go. That's gonna be so much fun! Around this area, I have noticed many places on the map where the state line does not coincide with the river, and apparently, the river has shifted over the years, placing Nebraska and Iowa land on the opposite side of the river, and this is one of those places, Middle Decatur Bend State Wildlife Management Area. There it is, the Iowa-Nebraska state line, where the river used to flow. There are a couple of places like this along uh, the, the border, you know, the, the Nebraska-Iowa border. And uh, that right there, that, that's the, the state line. And uh, what I'm assuming is that at some point, the Missouri River, you know, uh, did, did go through here and eventually either it got uh, re rerouted or, or it just, you know, changed course at some point. But uh, very interesting that they kept the, the state line where, where the river used to, used to flow. Very cool. One of those places that, you, you know, out of curiosity, I just wanted to see. I and mean, then it's, it's uh, still a bit smoky but beautiful out here. And we've got, you know, of course, Cornfields, it's Iowa after all, right? Let's go into Decatur, Nebraska real quick. I don't think there's a whole lot to do here in Decatur, Nebraska. A couple of historic sites, a campground, but I just want to go down and see the river. There it is once again, the Missouri River. Oh, look at all the bugs. Watch out for the crop duster! I think we got everything, so let's get out of here. We're going towards Des Moines, the state capital, but on the way there, we're gonna make a couple of stops. Let's get off the interstate and take some of the more interesting roads. Oh no, the road is closed. And there seems to be some kind of festivity, car show or something going on. We must take an alternate route. And one thing you'll learn in this part of the country, once you get off the main roads, it is usually dirt roads all over the place. At least we've got all these wind generators, adding an extra point of interest to this rolling hills landscape. I remember the first time I drove through these parts back in 2019 and thinking, this is not what I expected. Definitely not as flat and uninteresting as I had been led to believe. But I think I've already praised Iowa enough on this trip. Suffice to say, I like it. 
I want to come back here. Let's see at least one of the bridges of Madison County. We are once again at the Roseman Bridge in Madison County, Iowa. Yeah, we made it once again to the bridges of Madison County. If you haven't seen that movie, it's a good movie, you should watch it. Um, Clint Eastwood and uh, Meryl Streep. And um, if you recall, I had been here uh, back in 2019, but Illy had not been here. So um, that's why I wanted her to see it. And now we did. And now we're going to continue to the town of uh, Somerset and then to our campground near Des Moines, Iowa. Well, yeah, a lot of people, you know, have uh, graffitied the, the, the bridge, you know, with uh, promises of eternal love and very nice, very cool. But they do have a gift shop too. Let's continue towards the town of Winterset, John Wayne's birthplace. Here we are, winner set. This house to the left is the place where actor John Wayne was born back in 1907. Here's a better look at the house. We may or may not come back, but right now instead let's check out the Freedom Rock. There are 99 of these rocks spread out throughout the state by artist Ray Bubba Sorensen II with three major goals. First and foremost, honoring American veterans. Second, to promote Iowa's tourism. And third, to provide for the artist's family. Worthy goals, all of them. And he wants us to think of them as a puzzle. So you have to see them all to get the whole picture. Interesting. I, I don't know if I told you before, but I believe there's one of these rocks in every county in Iowa. And this is the John Wayne uh, Museum here. They have uh, all his movies and uh, the statue of the man himself. Super cute downtown here in Winterset. And we wanted to stop and walk around, maybe even visit John Wayne's house and the museum, but the courthouse is under construction, undergoing renovations, and we also wanted to eat at the restaurant featured in the movie The Bridges of Madison County, and the Northside Cafe, it's called. But it shut down at the beginning of the COVID pandemic, and it has never reopened, so that and the construction kind of put a damper on our desire to explore and walk around. There it is, the aforementioned Northside Cafe. It looks like we may have to return one third time. They do say it is the charm. Now, there's only one thing to do.
Well, this is our very nice campsite here at Yellow Banks uh, Park in Des Moines. Now we're gonna go for a quick, you know, drive around town, see what's going on, get the lay of the land. But more about that on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV.